Alright guys, welcome to the deck profile for Hermit Yokai. So yes, this deck's been taken off of Daily Duels. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot funner, but it ended up not being that fun at all. Um, you know, I didn't like that. You know, the game mechanic of them returning to your hand like theory, it seemed interesting on paper, but in the end I really didn't like it, and I was just having a hard time with the deck, so... In my opinion, I really don't see the deck being that competitive, it's a little bit too slow, and you know, that return to the hand aspect, you know, definitely, definitely hurts. You know, the monsters that you put on the field, you want to be on the field to establish, you know, presence on the board, but when they go your hand in the end phase and you're just leaving yourself open, you know, the duel might come down to, you know, you know, you summoning and putting their monsters in the back and then poking them, then, you know, your monsters go back and they summon and they poke you, and, you know, it's just pretty much a game of tag, and whoever gets the, you know, opponent's life points down to zero, the quickest wins, so... Just not really a big fan of the deck, and I decided to go ahead and take it off. So, you're getting two daily duels today. You're getting the deck profile for Hermit Yokai, and also it's the deck that will be replacing it on Wednesdays. So, I'm just going to go over my uh, Hermit Yokai deck. May not be the best, may not be the worst, but it was working for me. So, let me go ahead and go over the deck and explain other choices that I made with this deck. So, starting off, definitely uh, triple uh, Kamani Tachi. Uh, he's the strongest guy at 1800, and his uh, direct attack that he does it works really well with uh, Kamami Tachi so um, definitely definitely you gotta run like this deck you know consistency 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 the more Hermit Yokai you summon the more you can uh, jump your opponent the more you can uh, you know XCE for things like Lightning Chidori because they're win so uh, you know the more the better so the more the merrier so definitely uh, you know triple Kam Kamami Tachi then I run uh, triple Kami Tachi as well Kamami Tachi uh, Kamami Tachi is the one that bounces the monster, so if you have a another Hermit Yokai or Yosenju, but I'm just going to call him Hermit Yokai, if you have another uh, Hermit Yokai on the field, uh, then you can target one face-up card your opponent controls and then return that to the hand, so you know, if you have like, you know, these are all normal summons, so you can go like, you know, normal summon, uh, you know, Kamami Tachi, normal summon another one, he's the fact, put back that bandies back in your hand, and then go ahead and, you know, Special summon XC into a Lightning Chidori, so uh, it's face up card. Go ahead and just take the opponent's face up card, put it back in their hand, poke, poke, and then of course you go back. But definitely a uh, triple kam Kamami, ta Kamami Tachi as well. Okay? So it's Kamami Tachi, Kamami Tachi, and Kamami kam Kami Kamitachi, Kamami Tachi, and Kamami Tachi. Oh my god, it's fucking hard to say. Alright, and also triple uh, Kamami Tachi. So Kamami Tachi is the searcher. Uh, the weakest out of the bunch, but uh, still. Um, you know, when a different Hermit Yokai monster inflicts damage to your opponent, you can go ahead and add a Hermit Yokai card from your deck to your hand, so you can go ahead, except for itself, but uh, you can go ahead and add your counter trap, so, uh, you know, that's not bad. The only problem is, is that, of course, you have to have a Hermit Yokai card on the field to use your counter trap. Uh, I've seen a couple of decks splash in one of the Pendulum monsters, but I just felt like it really wasn't necessary. You know, if I really want them to stay on the board, I can make them stay on the board, so, um... I would just kind of meh. Like, if you want to go ahead and splash in one of the uh, Pendulum Monsters, then uh, more power to you. Let me see. Um, I think there's one of them that you can go ahead and put in. Uh, is it him? Uh, I think it's this one. If you see a monster, you can just draw power or crap you can draw this card instead, not just Pendulum Effect. So, if you want to run this guy, just so you can have a uh, Yosenju card or a Yokai card for this, then pay more power to you. But I was kind of like meh. You know, if I, if I probably would have went with more practice, I maybe would have done it, but, you know, so this would always be live, you know, but I was kind of like, meh, with it. Uh, I'm running triple of the Hermit Yokai, uh, Sujiri, Suji Kiri Kaze, Sujiri Kiri Kaze, oh my god, killing me, <laughs> um, he recently got put on here, but, he, uh, you know, once again, he's level 4, he's a wind, he helps out, uh, you know, he helps you with the consistency, and his effect is actually pretty good. So, uh, pretty much during your player's uh, damage step, when you have a Hermi Yokai monster that battles a pose monster, you can discard this, this guy, and the monster goes to 5,000, so it's kind of like your own little uh, uh, nut puncher, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, not that bad, you know. And then, uh, you can target one Yusenju monster on the field and uh, gain 1,000 attack until the end of his turn, so you can target uh, himself and he'll go up to 2,000. So, you know, through his effect, he's technically the strongest attacker, so, uh, you know, definitely, definitely run him. So, um, yeah. He's been helping out as well, just keeping the deck consistent as possible. So, yeah. 
I said I wanted to run a pure um, Hermit Yokai Yusenji deck. Uh, you know, I tried it with the bears and the wolf barks, and I didn't like it. They, you know, it wasn't working out that hot. Uh, you know, especially when you would draw a you know, wolf bark. Wolf bark can only summon a fire base warrior, so when you'd have your Hermit Yokai's in the grave, you know, wolf bark wasn't doing anything, and you know. Bear kind of got in the way of the counter trap, and I really wasn't a big fan of that, so I kind of just was like, meh. So, yeah. Uh, next, I run triple this guy, so uh, Hermit Yokai Magatsu Suden. Um, he's actually pretty good, uh, especially when you run cards that can help it out. So, uh, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one uh, a Hermit Yokai from your deck, and then if this card was a. Uh, 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 special summon. The only end phase this card was special summon return to the hand. Really? I thought. It, well, how come the game was going off whenever it was normal summon? Huh. Anyway. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, you do various means. You can go, you know, insta fusion and tribute. You can have a field spell, which is summon a token and you can tribute. Uh, you can have Monarch Stone Force, tribute your opponent's monster, summon this guy. So, uh, definitely, this guy's really good, and then, of course, he special summons a Hermit Yokai from the deck, so that Hermit Yokai will then, of course, stay on the field during the end phase, so I found this guy really helpful, really useful, and uh, I'm glad that I decided to uh, play him instead of the, the Fire Fist and Wolf Bark play, because he was actually putting in that work. I uh, run two of the uh, Hermit Yokai Yamamisaki. Uh, he's okay. He's kind of like a Catastor. Uh, you know, so I started the damage step if it battles a non-win, so like you know, catastrophe is dark. This guy pretty much says, you know, as long as it's not win, he will uh, destroy that monster. Um, when this guy is pendulum summoned, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it, but of course I'm not running a pendulum version of deck. I felt like it was cloggy and not necessary. And then of course during the end phase, this card was special summon, not normal summon, special summon, he returns to your hand, so you know, if you think that you're gonna go ahead and go summon this guy and then this guy's gonna summon this guy, like no because then he'll return. But <coughs> you can go this guy, summon this guy, and then go into a uh, rank six, of course, because they're both six. So that's a play that I've done a couple of times. So uh, not bad. And uh, pretty much that's just the monsters. I run one divine, one of the mess valleys. This card's okay. At first I didn't like it, but then when I started to, you know, not like my monster's return to the hand, this card kind of helped out. So, uh, you know, once per turn, when I face up one monster, is returned to the hand. Uh, I can special summon a level 4 lower wind monster, so, you know, uh, the Hermione Yokai's return to my hand during end phase, and the Divine Wind will allow me to special summon Hermione Yokai, that monster is special summon, doesn't return to my hand, and it stays there, and then, you know, I can have, you know, field presence for this card. So, I definitely recommend that if you're gonna run this deck, just run one of this guy. Just put him in your pendulum zone, he has a nice 21 booty, he has 4, but, yeah, I definitely recommend running just one of this guy. So, um, what I do probably drop this down to two and run one of him. Yeah. So throw him in the pendulum. Um if you know if a from a Yokai monster you control be destroyed battle by card effect, you can go ahead and destroy this card instead. And uh it counts says card, see it says card. Uh while well, you control a Hermit uh Hermit Yokai you send you card and all face of monsters you control if any are you send you monsters. So if you have no monsters at all because, you know, your shit returned to your hand. You just set the technique, they try to go, you know, they'll probably play something, you'll just be like, a uh, secret technique of the Hermit Yokai, and they'll be like, what the hell, like, you don't have a, a card. Like, yeah, I do, right here. So, uh, yeah, I'd say run with him. But uh, Divine Wind was kind of helpful, I enjoyed it. Um, I, or, Overflowing Purgatory worked kind of well. I recently just, I recently, before doing the deck I played it back up to three, but I was like, nah, that's a little bit too much, that's kind of cloudy. Go ahead and go two. So, uh, if you don't know what Overflowing Purgatory is, it pretty much, it's a uh, it's an Fortnite card, but you don't care about that because pretty much during each of your stamina phases you get a token. So you know you get a token, you can go ahead and tribute the token for your uh, higher level uh, Isenju monster. So it's not you know terrible. Uh, you know I could definitely see maybe Monarchs playing this and Frenoids, of course they're cards so they might play it, but um, you know it's actually a really good feel spell. Just being able every single one of your stamina phases get you get a token. You can do whatever you want with that token. You can you can synchro with that token. You can tribute that token. You can, you know, use that token as a target to destroy something, you know, like Scrap Dragon. You cannot exceed with a token, alright? You cannot exceed with a token. So if you have another level 1 on the field, you can't exceed. Because, of course, you can't exceed with tokens, but, uh, you know, you can just do some things with tokens. Not terrible. So, yeah. Triple Tanky, of course, because they're all pretty much Beast Warriors. Beast Warriors, all my level 4s, I think the level 6s are Beast, but, 
you know, Beast Warriors all right here. So I'll definitely go ahead and Tenku search them, because why not? Um, I'm running triple Instafusion, so Instafusion for uh, Navlius here, because Navlius is a level 4 wind fusion. So I can go ahead and go, you know, Instafusion some Navlius trivia for one of the sixes, or Instafusion some Navlius while having another uh, Herma Yokai. They're both level 4 wind, go right into a Lightning Chidori. And you guys already know how powerful Lightning Chidori is, so um, that's a thing. Run Triple Monarch Storm Fourth because, like I said, I do get these level sixes in my hand. I like to get them out, you know, as quickly and as consistently as possible. So why not go ahead and, uh, if you know, if my field spells not ready or don't have an instant fusion, why not just tribute my opponent's monster for my, uh, for my, uh, harmony of Of course, I can special summon for my extra deck if I do this. So if, you know, if you do this and do this, of course, can't like, see which kind of stuff. So, but you can go this to this. This will then summon one of the others. So uh, you know, not terrible. Not terrible, you know, this, and then he can summon them, and then those two getting a direct attack, that's half your opponent's life points right there. While, you know, they uh, neg from you uh, tributing their monster, so Monarch Storm Forth, a very, very powerful card, you know. But, uh, you know, it's it's popular, it's relevant, it's getting reprint, so, yeah. I am in triple of the Yokai Shrine of Trials. Uh, at first I wasn't running this card, at first I couldn't find it, because its name was different, so in the card art you can see that it says Yokai with a U, but then... Uh, right here it says without a U, so it's actually without the U. So when I ever typed in Yokai and I typed in Y O U, I couldn't find it. So you know that's why it wasn't in there for the first couple videos. But then when I found it, definitely decided to run it. Helps consistency. Consistency. So all you need to do is just summon three Hermit Yokai to go ahead and uh, add a Hermit Yokai card from your deck to your uh, deck or grave back to your hand. So you just go summon you, you summon you, you summon you. You know, get all three counters, remove all three counters. You know, search for any that you send you a Hermit Yokai card, including the counter trap. So um, that's the reason why it's ran in here. You, know. um, you can only uh, you you can only do this effect only once per turn. So you can only use the effect of trials. But if you have multiple trials, you can only you know use the effect once per turn. So it's kind of it's kind of like Gateway, but you know a balanced version of Gateway. So uh, don't mind that. Alright, next I ran two creature swap. Um, I started to become less and less fond of this card, but it still worked out sometimes. So, of course, you know, my Yusenji monsters, they return to my hand during the end phase, so you can kind of do, like, the spirit play. Um, you know, I got Overflow and Purgatory giving me a token every stem phase, so, you know, like, during my stem phase, get a token, creature swap my token over to you, and you get, and I get your monster. The only problem is that once I take the monster and then, you know, they don't kill the monster, I have a non, you know, Hermione Yokai Yusenji card on the field, and I can't use my counter trap anymore, so that's the thing I was having problems with creature swap, but I definitely feel that, you know, being able to just go ahead and... Uh, take your opponent's monster while giving them either a token or, or you know, a monster that's just going to return to your hand during your end phase is uh, kind of an interesting play. I feel like it was kind of cloggy at three that I didn't necessarily want to go through the plays, especially without my counter trap. So I decided to go ahead and uh, put this down to uh, two. Alright, bottomless warning. Um, I was just running them just to run them. Like I said, if, you want, if you're worried about the consistency and plays and stuff, you can always like maybe take these two out and put in like two summer monks. You have like 17 spells, so you know, summon monk's not terrible. Uh, he was in there for a little while, but you know, when I found out that this guy was on here, summon monk kind of like got booted out. But you could definitely run summon monk, and then you know, these guys would stay on the field because they were special summon, you know, in case you or unless you exceed, which wouldn't be terrible. But lots of spells, so you can go ahead and pitch one of them for summon monk. But I decided to go ahead and go with bottomless and warning. Of course, you know, common pulse is you know more prevalent than bottomless, but. I kind of felt like Bottomless was just a safer card, so I decided to go with Bottomless. And then I run Triple Secret, secret Technique of the Hermione Yokai as a counter trap, so we want to run Spell Trap and Monster Effect to activate it while I control a uh, Yusenji card and all, all face up monsters I control. If any are Yusenji monsters, I can negate the activation and destroy it. So um, pretty much they have their own searchable, um, you know. Infernity Barrier, but I definitely feel like Infernities are a stronger deck, they're faster, they're more explosive. This deck. It, it leaves itself open too much, and that's why I started disliking it, because I would get myself let up, you know, open, and then get my butt kicked. So, you know, that's why I wasn't a big fan of it. I'd say if you're going to run the deck, maybe run more background with it to protect yourself. I was trying that out, but, you know, maybe you could, like, maybe take the sixes out, even though you don't need the sixes. I was running them just for consistency means and, you know, different gameplay, but you can take the sixes out, take the per flow before in purgatory out, you can take the march and, uh, I mean, Monarch Storm Forest out. You know, and you can just run more background. You know, it's all up to you. But you know, this is just the route that I decided to go down. So, yeah. All right, extra deck, course three, lightning chidori. Lightning chidori is so powerful. 
you know, if it was generic, it would probably be gone already, but because, you know, only wins can make it, only, you know, you need two level four wins, not a lot of decks make it, you know, most prevalent, of course, being, you know, Harpy Ladies, but this deck can also do it too. So, when this card is a C summon, target a set card, put it at the bottom, the attack C material, target a face up card, and put it at the top. So, uh, it's kind of like, uh, uh, you know, a, a Phoenix Wind, wind, wind Blast, so, uh, not bad. My nature is pretty good. And then 101, just in case. I've been going with the whole 1 1 play lately. 1 1 1 1 Casto. Okay, there's some things that Casto can do, there's some things that 101 can do. And of course, when I was running Summoner Monk, which I changed, but if you're running Summoner Monk, you might want to run uh, you know, Casto despite having Lightning Chidori, because of course Summoner Monk is dark, so you won't be able to go into Lightning Chidori. So Casto might be uh, the next best choice. Hexaton, of course, of level chain, you know, go ahead and put a uh, certain. Uh, you send you Hermit Yokai Monster on top of my deck. Cowboy, because he wins the game. Uh, Tiger, because this deck has B-Square, so you can go ahead and you know, search for another tanky. Uh, these are my sixes, so I ran Photon Strike Bouncer, Gauntlet. Gauntlet Launcher, I thought I read Gauntlet Shooter, I'm like, I thought it was Launcher. Gauntlet Launcher and M7, so those are my sixes. I didn't go into them that often, but they were there. And then, of course, my Instant Fusion targets, the uh, Mavlius. Alright. So uh, there you go, that is my uh, Hermit Yokai deck, like I said, I don't proclaim that I'm the best Hermit Yokai player, nor that this deck is the best, but this is the deck that I was pretty much using. So if you guys want to go ahead and test it out, hey, more power to you, you want to go ahead and make some changes, then more power to you as well. So uh, like I said, you get double daily duels, so you get this deck profile, and you also get the deck that I'll be replacing it at 1.30pm uh, Pacific time, so look forward to it. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the second Daily Duels today. Alright, thanks for watching.